Good morning, brothers. Welcome to A Brown Bag Gentleman. My name is Scott. And today's shave, yes, shave. 11 days growth, shave. <laughs> we're going to do today. We're going to try this razor. Fairly new to me. I only used it a few times here. The Rockwell 6S razor. And I've got it on setting 6, if you can see that. Let's see here. Can you see that? Hold that on the other side. I don't know if you can see that in the light there. If you can see that's on the 6, the R6 plate. So that's what's going to take off this first layer. I hope. I have not tested this razor to see if it'll take off 11 days growth. I do not know. I've seen like Ohio Shave, he loves this razor and he's used it on quite a few, like a week's growth, I think he's used it on. So I'm thinking it can do this. Because yes, you can see I've got a thick beard. This is only, it's only 11, not even two weeks old. 11 days growth right here. And there's four good days growth in the neck. I did shave the neck like Tuesday. And that was the last time. So I went to work at the office, a little, little scruffy on Thursday. <laughs> but we're going to clean this up a little bit. We're not going to shave it all off, but we're going to, we're going to knock it down a bit. So yeah, it's a shaving channel. Got to have something to shave. So <laughs> let's do that. I've washed the face and say, I washed the full beard and everything in the mustache area and all that. And so, so I really, I washed it all. I whipped up the soap, which I didn't show you yet. Let's show the, the, the soap is Declaration Grooming Tribute. And I, it, it, when I was on their website reading the description of this, it, it was a little, it was, it was humorous. They said something like, is this the best scent there, out there? No, it's just a tribute. So, okay, it was, it was cute. But it, the scent base is, is pineapple and peach on the sweet side of things. And then for the savory side of things, we have patchouli and vetiver to knock it down. So it's not, it's not overly cloyingly sweet. And it's not so musty, dirty, grudgy either. So I like us on the sweet sides with a little bit of savory in there that just didn't need to knock down some of that sweetness. And we're going to, and you're going to see that in the aftershave today too, which I'll sh show. I call it witch's brew. I, when I do myself, I mix it up myself and that's just what I call it. <laughs> so with that, let's get started here. Got my Phoenix brush here. Let's see which brush is this, the rocket brush. So it's been around for a few years, you know, big old honking brush that they do. I like these brushes. Yeah, they make a nice big brush. Oh, Scent-wise, that is nice. I didn't really smell it off the puck. It's not super strong. It's pleasant. Oh, yeah. Very mild scent-wise. Two or three at most on the scent strength. I say out of ten, in my opinion. I'm not really going to... I'm going to leave this part here. Well, let's, we're going to knock out some of the edges. And I'm going to leave the mustache alone this week. Next week, I'll trim down the mustache, but I like the, the mustache to be at least two weeks before I start in there with, with the with the um, the blade. And I probably should have knocked this down first with my electric clippers is what I meant to do, which, yeah, but now I got soap on it. So I guess, guess we're shaving it. And the soap. The soap itself is not a, is not a vegan-based soap. It is a... It does have tallow and goat milk. There's that theme again. I keep coming across these soaps that have tallow and goat milk, both. And I'm telling you, the different manufacturers, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I'm just letting, letting you all know, Declaration Grooming and others out there who are doing that, yes, please keep it up. <laughs> so, yeah. And I can stop anytime. Now, there's so much soap on my face here. That, that's the thing about the whiskers, too. They really hold, hold the soap, so it looks like I got a super thick, luscious, but it's just, it's all that hair just holding it in there. Warming up the razor, and I've got the Gillette Platinum blade in here. So I was curious with that too. Yes, normally I would have wanted that that um, silver blue or maybe even a um, feather in there for knocking this much down. But I'm, I'm experimenting. I'm trying things. So we'll see. Let's see what happens if this crashes and burns right here. I'll pause and go get a different razor. But we'll see. Let's see here. Yeah, that's not taking it off real great. That is not as good. No, no, it's not. We're gonna we're gonna pause. Yeah, I'm not really liking that. Well, we'll just give it one more pass. Let's try. Yeah, it's not knocking it down enough. I really need an open comb razor. We're I'm gonna stop here. We're gonna we're gonna change razors. So hold on one sec. Okay, guys, back again. I ran into the other room there where I keep all my razors and stuff and switched it out for yeah the beast. We have the beast today. So you all know what that is, the, the R41 Mula. So we're going to do, we're going to continue on with this because see, it's nice open comb, known to be more aggressive. Oh yeah, already better. Oh yeah. So 
So, and, and I really, it's not really a fair challenge to do this to especially a, a, a solid bar razor. It's just, it's just not really fair. So no knocks at all on, on the, on the, um, the other razor there too, because I say it's, this is a bit much. Normally, yeah, I mean, if you're smart, you're going to trim it down with your electric trimmers first. And truthfully, normally anything over a week's growth, yes, I, I trim it down with electric. I just didn't do that today. So yeah, we're, we're, we're trying things. Oh. Go over. And it's still a challenge too for this. It's not getting 100%. I mean, it's got better than the other one did, but. But it's still, yeah, it's not great. I should have really electric trimmed it first. I should have. All right, we're just shaping things a little bit here. Just trying it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and soap up for pass two here. There's still, there's hairs left. Everything there is, there's whisk, long whiskers left. Not as much with the with the R41 as there was with the um, the 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 other one here. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it. Really, not a fair challenge for that thing. It's a little with this much growth. It's just too much. But I know I, I get intrigued by seeing guys do that stuff with a razor and got all this off, but it's, yeah, it's not a comfortable, fun shave, really, the doing that. But we're going to go, of course, past two is going to go across the green. We're going to keep on our normal pattern there. Now it's knocking it down too. Let's say it took a couple passes. I'm trying not to. Oh, I think I might have just knocked it down, but let's see. I try to flare it out a little bit. This may or may not look stupid. We'll see afterwards after I wipe it all off. Okay, so two passes. Yep, yeah, and there's still some right here. Better. I was going to switch back to the other razor, but I'm not going to. I'm going to steep it with the with the R41. Okay, let's see what happens. Of course, third pass is against the grain. And it's feeling third pass now is feeling much much better. I've knocked down all those thick heavy whiskers there, so it's yeah, it's much smoother now, much nicer. And yes, the R41 is is a fairly smooth razor. It is surprisingly so. I used to have, I still own it, but I never use it anymore. I've got the one from Wesco Shaving, their house in house razor head, like it was like five dollars on sale type of thing years ago. And very aggressive though, but not comfortable. It is just it's just just super aggressive. It doesn't have near the comfort of the R41. Here we go. It's getting there. Of course, I'll have to play with that through the week, and it might just come off too. We'll see. <laughs> of 
stretch out the neck. You can see the scent is very mild. I am barely noticing the scent right now. And depending on what your tastes are, like soaked scents and natural shaved scents and all that too. Some people want it on strong and use a little bit. Some people want it just kind of light, just so it's a personal effect. Only if people are near that they smell it. It's what your tastes are really. And all these products run the gambit. I'm going to see if that looks like it here in a minute after I wipe it off with a washcloth here. But third pass is done, and now we got a smooth shave. Yes, but those first couple of passes were, were some effort involved for sure. So let me pause and wash up. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. Just washed off with warm water and a washcloth. So yeah, it came out pretty good. Uh, fairly, I mean, I'll have to even it out. Doesn't look quite even to me. So yeah, there'll be some evening out going on. And, if I just get annoyed with it, I'll just nip off the little wings there and call it a day, but we'll see. <laughs> felt like what I just felt like doing this this year instead of the standard um, Boutier Van Dyke thing. I wanted to try this a little bit, a little something, a little different, anyway, a little bit. So let me pause while I put two splashes of cold water on the face here. One moment. Alrighty, okay. Oh. Let's see, where is that? I'm looking for my, here it is. Good old alum. Knocked off all that whiskers. I want to make sure to use some alum. And yeah, I feel a little stinging on the neck. A little here and there on the face, a little bit. To be expected, you knock, you knock all that, that much whiskers off with just the razor, yeah. You're gonna feel that a little bit, So, but, but not horrible. It's really not, just a little bit here and there. Yeah, there we go. Certainly recommend alum after your shave. Especially if you have little nicks and cuts, what have you. Or if you're a beginner, because it's really going to show you if you're a beginner and you're putting too much pressure down, for example, on, on with your hands, because it's going to sting like something you're going to be do that. <laughs> you learn quick not to do that. All right, so that worked. Now, which is brew time? Let me see. Where's, where's that? Here we go. Which is brew, preparing it. All I do, I, I mix two aftershaves, that's what I do. So I'm opening them up, so the first aftershave is Florida water. And you've seen me do this before too. And then I put in some sandalwood aftershave. So whatever sandalwood I happen to have around. Right now I have Proasso. So I, do, I like I like taking the, some of the sweetness edge off of the Florida water with the sandalwood. So pour that. And put about nine splashes of, that is a big generous, Helping them out. Okay, yes. Yeah, there we go. So the sandalwood, yeah, just gives a little earthiness to all the sweetness of the lemony fruitiness, grapefruity, lemony, citrusy that the Florida water is. And if you've never tried Florida water, you've got to try it. It is just so good. And yes, it's one that men or women can use because it's a citrusy, sweetie. Thing and my wife uses it like that, so I put a little sandy one in it myself. We're using the same bottle. We got a couple bottles, we use one at a time. And you can tell we like it because it's getting down there. Alrighty, so yes, okay. Oh, that felt good. Okay, nice shave. You can say, we'll even this out through the week, I'm sure. See how that is. You guys, okay, you can make comments at me. So we'll see which size is higher. <laughs> but with that, hope you enjoyed and go with God.